Hey, I'm back. We still on for movie night, or... Ah, what the hell? What's going on? Is your phone speaker busted? Didn't work. What are you talking about? Can you turn that thing off? It's really annoying. Not the right frequency. Hey, are you feeling okay? Oh my god, you're not still on about that, are you? Even if I was a cyborg, why would an annoying noise hurt me? 2600 hertz? What? Wait, that's the frequency they used to hack phones for free long distance in the 60s. Why would it affect a highly advanced cybernetic organism that you're assuming I am? What is it with this thinking I'm a robot thing? Did I do something wrong? I thought we were pretty cool with each other before, but now you're just obsessed. Yeah, you are. Anyone else would have just accepted my explanations and left it at that. But you... With you getting suspicious any time I update any of my devices, making me feel bad about my vocal tick. Then there was that whole thing with you trying to get me to solve CAPTCHAs even though you know I have vision problems. I'm beginning to think you just have issues with me personally, and you're using this cyborg thing to justify it. Do you really dislike me that much? That's not it? Well, what is it then? You just want to see if I'm a cyborg. Okay, what exactly is the deal with you and cyborgs then? Did a cyborg kill your dog? You really like the concept that much? Okay, but you know that just because it's cool in fiction doesn't mean it's cool in real life. Or possible. I don't care if you have more evidence. At this point, you might try to electrocute me just to see what happens. An article? Yeah, I'm sure there are articles talking about cyborgs that are very convincing, but you shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet. An article about me? What do you mean? Okay, I was in a car accident that got some news coverage. It was a pretty bad pileup, so what? And how did you find that anyway? Were you searching my name? Okay, my body was fully paralyzed for a bit, but I recovered. Well, sometimes things like that do happen. Why can't you just let it go? What does it matter to you? <sighs> to you, it's just cool, but this is my life. You promise you won't tell. That's not very convincing. What? Do you think I'm an alien, too? No, it's not like that. I'm just a regular person. And the only reason I can be a regular person is because I got a second chance. Have you heard of a company called Tensky? Yeah, the tech company. The short version is, they contacted me after the accident and offered me a surgery that could fix my body. It's not as simple as, they made me a cyborg. They gave me technological enhancements that allowed my body to move again. Plus a bunch of other stuff that I didn't need, but they wanted to test. Like I said, it's not as cool in real life. I'm not some escaped science experiment. I'm a paid test subject. And it's not like I have laser eyes or rockets in my feet or something like that. I just... function. Like a human. Okay, yeah, maybe there are a few differences. You already guessed it, but my brain is hooked up to the internet so I can learn pretty much anything in an instant. My memory is way better than an average human, too. But it's not like I'm a genius or anything. 
I could look up anything about, say, quantum physics, but that doesn't mean I'll understand it. And yeah, I'm stronger, but not like super strong. I'm not about to be lifting cars or stopping trains. There's a limit to what the human body can do. Yes, my body is still very much human. It may have some enhancements, but a lot of my original parts remain. Why was I keeping it a secret? Isn't it obvious? I'm under a crazy strict non-disclosure agreement. The technology they've gotten me is years ahead of what's available on the market. Tensky doesn't want their competitors getting wind of it before they go public. But when it does, this stuff will be life-changing. I can vouch for that. It won't just be people in situations like mine that'll want it. I'm sure you can imagine people wanting to hook their brain up to the internet. And it's all a money thing. Whoever starts selling it first will pretty much have the market cornered. Again, not as cool in real life, but I'm keeping it secret so I don't get sued. Not to mention, if I break the contract, I won't get any more updates or repairs. And if something goes wrong with the hardware I have, that could be a death sentence. <sighs> no, it's not a great situation to be in. It's precarious, to say the least. But the other option was never being able to move my body again. So you can't tell anyone about this, okay? Promise me. Promise you'll keep it a secret. This is my life we're talking about here. Good. Now, are we done with the questions? No, the beeping noises are actually a vocal tick. Don't be weird about it. Yeah, we can still do movie night. What did you want to watch? Oh, you downloaded some to pick from? Cool, let me see. Ghost in the Shell, Terminator, Robocop, Wally, -E, I Robot, Robots. Hey, dude, why are these all robot movies? You wanted to see how I'd react to them. Okay, I'm canceling movie night. She goes beep beep and you go, hmm, suspicious.